Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for taking out time to attend uh, today's webinar. And we are really excited to take you through today's webinar. And firstly, we trust all of you are keeping well and safe. So a couple of uh, housekeeping announcement. Uh, the session will be on a listen only mode. So in case if you have any questions, uh, please do type in, in the questions tab, uh, which is visible on your screen. And we will have a question and answer session towards the end of the session, and we will be happy to answer all the questions. And uh, we will also have uh, a set of poll questions, which will be uh, asked to you towards the end of the session while the uh, question and answer session is happening. So please do participate. We would like to understand you and know you better for our future sessions. And uh, the last thing is, you know, we also have uh, the session recordings, which will be shared with you. So after the session, so don't worry if you will not able, if you want to listen again on certain things, you definitely can go ahead and listen with the session recording. So with no further delay, I would like to hand this over to Vira. Thank you, Vira. Over to you. Thanks, Avinash. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Vira Pandian uh, from Autodesk. Thank you for joining us for this presentation about automation solutions in Autodesk Inventor. This truly is for everyone in your organization, from developing personal automated tasks to corporate goals and initiatives. So please take a moment to review our safe harbor statement regarding the information we are about to share with you. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to go through it. Okay, let's get started. Some of you have heard us talk about it, the future of making. So design automation is one of the best examples of this concept, and here's why. It's because it touches on all three of the core elements of the future of making. If we home in on the more aspect, people are requiring and demanding more products based on their custom needs, in the less aspect, the more you make, the fewer resources you have available to work on real design and engineering innovation. Automation is about reducing the amount of time your engineers are spending on tedious tasks so they can focus on important work. And last, automation represents an opportunity to do everything better and faster for your entire product development cycle all the way from sales to shipping the final product. So again, design automation checks off all the boxes for the three aspects of the future of making. So let's face it, the world is ever changing thanks to technology. If you don't welcome these changes, then you risk being left behind. Left behind. In order to survive, Businesses need to pursue strategies which reduce cost, save time, and increase efficiency. Your most valuable asset is the people you work with. People come and they sometimes go. So how do you ensure that knowledge is going to stay with you and leverage it with other employees in your organization? So level set on design automation. So what is it? What is design automation? Basically, it is meant to help you and those around you to get more things done in a lot less time. Then what do you do with that time is up to you. Innovate more, maybe, or simply get started early on the next project. But either way, design automation has become very imperative in today's time. For some, it's also about winning more bids for customizable products or getting to getting your designs to manufacture faster. And if you are in the business of supplying your equipments and the products to uh, building manufacturers, or your, if you have products that goes into buildings, uh, as such as smalls, uh, government offices, and uh, public places, anything that goes into a building, right? Then you need to make sure that your products are BIM compliant. BIM stands for Building Information Modeling. And BIM compliance is an example of automating tasks as well. So if you need BIM-ready designs, there are ways to create them without 
the manual effort of simplification, data entry, and exporting the files. Throughout this presentation, we will talk about automation at all levels. That means everything from personal software use to your team level tasks, all the way to the company-wide initiatives like connecting engineering and business systems. We are going to speak to all three of these categories. Design automation is something that grows with you as an engineer and as a company. Everything you do, big or small, has a positive impact. It is also scalable. The work you do today, even on small projects, can later be repurposed for the next level in automation so that you never lose the work you put into a project. So let's begin at the fundamental level of design automation in 3D modeling and the specialized tools that are available in Autodesk Inventor. Okay. So it all starts with uh, basic parametric modeling and uh, the specialized tool, which are in form, in a way, a form of uh, automation itself. How, like, for example, the drawing creation, the automation of drawing creation is achieved by using these parametric modeling, but that's just the beginning of it. Using inventor is not just about moving from a 2D world over to 3D. It's about designing your concepts and ideas more efficiently. In order to do that, there has to be some sort of automation involved. As I mentioned before, something like a drawing, auto, uh, drawing creation is an automation in itself. So design intent, for example, enables you to predict how your parts and assemblies will behave. Inventor provides you an opportunity to describe your model or build intelligence and into it so that inevitable changes happen the way you expect them to. And those changes propagate to downstream applications like drawings, analysis, and CAM tool parts, all update according to your modifications to the geometry. So you might have been aware of all these things, especially if you're using a 3D product. So let's start with the basic automation capabilities. So specialized tools are available for several model types, including sheet metal designs and plastic part design to speak uh, for, as an example. These features make it easier to model in 3D and provide all engineering criteria for bend allowance so you know your parts are accurate according to the machines used to make them. Then there are plastic part features that are specifically designed to make modeling faster, such as boss features for fast fasteners. Lip and groove features are often part of the plastic part design and is done quickly in inventory. There is a snap feature for common shapes for snap fits between components. Those are just few of the examples of features that are going to make plastic part design more of a design task rather than 3D modeling change. So, so this is something on the basic level of automation. And there's more. Well-framed design only requires you to build a wireframe and select structural profiles for them. Even solve your well frames in seconds using beam elements. Tube and pipe contains all the hardware you need for applying your roots for rigid pipes, bent tubes, and flexible hoses. Just draw the root wireframe and specify the material and components that are included. So let's take a look at an example of this. So the nature of structural frame design with standard frame profiles and corner treatments makes a relatively simple yet tedious modeling task that's perfect for automation. Autodesk Inventor makes frame design simple with tools specifically created to make inserting frame members. 
applying end treatments and analyzing the performance of frames fast. Let's take a look. Starting with the parametric skeleton geometry for the frame, you can begin inserting frame members by specifying the family size and material from a library containing thousands of standard profiles. Inventor gives you complete control over the placement of each member, fix sketches, edges, or points to position your frame members. With options to offset or rotate the frame profile relative to the geometry sketched. Once the size and placement of the frame members are determined, the frame members are inserted into the assembly and automatically numbered based on a preferred file name and part numbering scheme. As you add more frame members into the design, corner treatments can be used to trim, miter, or create notches between members and end caps can be inserted from the content center to terminate free ends. The, stand, the standardized nature of frame design also makes it easy to set up and perform structural analysis to make sure your designs perform as required. Just add your constraints, for example, where the frame is to be fixed to the floor, so you can start specifying where the loads will be applied. Loads can be applied as point forces, axial moments, or continuous loads across length of the frame members. The solve time for frame member uh, analysis is super quick, so you can immediately begin reviewing the displacement and stress results to determine if further design refinement is required. With automated commands for designing structural frames and a simple to use analysis environment to make sure your designs will perform to the requirements Inventor gives you the professional grade tools you need to get frame design done fast. So next, purchase components are the last thing you want to spend time modeling for your assembly. Inventor has you covered there as well. Choose from hundreds of hundreds of thousands of standard components for your design. And not only this, this is something that you, you've seen in your 3D software, which you might be already using. Okay, But what we uh, also get is you can use the design accelerators to create specialized components like gears, bearings, and cams, and many more. It also contains engineering calculators that are built inside Inventor, all the most important tools you need from your machinery handbook. So the entire machinery handbook has been built inside so which means you're not just inserting standard components, but you can, you're can you also, you're able to design specialized components as well. Let's take a look. You don't want to spend time modeling standard components like nuts, bolts, and you don't have to. Autodesk Inventor Content Center allows you to generate over 750,000 standard components from fasteners to shaft components and from routed systems to structural steel. The Content Center libraries covers 18 international standards, including the Indian standard IS, apart from ISO, A ANSI, and D uh, DIN. In addition to the standard components included, you can also publish your own parts and manage them with Content Center. Let's see. Content Center in action. In this example, parts are inserted directly from Content Center. Notice how parts automatically uh, size themselves to suit the features selected. Once inserted, Content Center parts, parts can be resized or redefined from the library and contain all the information needed to automatically populate your bill of materials. Content Center supports invent, Inventor Design Accelerators, a collection of rules-based design tools that allow you to quickly generate components around your functional requirements. So once inserted, okay, okay. So uh, and add fasteners or design a frame, power transmission, or spring systems directly from the content center components. No need to model any parts yourself. In the invent of routed systems environment, Quantum Center provides components for your piping runs and cable harnesses. Design mechanical systems, which include flexible or rigid piping routes, use your existing geometry as a reference. 
content center supplies hoses pipes tubes and industry standard pipe fittings such as flanges and couplers design electromechanical systems which are linked to your autocad electrical schematics populate your design using the autocad electrical data and content center linked library of components you want to spend your time in uh, in engineering and design and not modeling Odd disk inventor content center libraries save you time and effort, reduce modeling time, increase standardization, and make use of inventors' design accelerators with Odd disk inventor content center. So that's an, another level of automation which you just saw. Now that we spoke about automation tools for design work, let's take it up uh, one level up. Okay. Inventor offers the ability to capture the engineering rules of your design so that you can make you can make reuse it to make new rapid configurations. So a growing number of companies and individual inventor users are witnessing the power and Im of implementing iLogic, which is a rules-based design component uh, fully embedded inside our desk inventor. So they have been they have been implementing iLogic in their daily activities to improve their efficiency, not just in design but also in manufacturing software that works in Inventor. So making changes to your design is easy when you include good design intent. You can make it even easier by specifying values that are open to change. So iLogic is a uh, tool that is readily available in uh, Autodesk Inventor, which just does, doesn't require any programming expertise to get started with this. So basically, if you can draw a flowchart of your process uh, or, and capture the knowledge base that you already have, you should be up and ready uh, and running with iLogic. Okay. So let's take an example of iLogic. Product configurators have been proven to save engineering time and accelerate sales growth of custom products. In the past, setting up rules and logic behind a configurator and making it accessible to sales representatives and engineers often required specialized programming knowledge, significant investments in development, and a lot of time. With Inventor, however, setting up and deploying a product configurator has never been easier. First, you must define the logic behind the configurator. This is easy to code with Inventor iLogic technology. Next, once logic has been defined, you can create forms. So uh, you can see that uh, it's basically a lot of if, then, and else statements that is captured. And it also gives you, it can capture the codes right from the graphical interface where you can simply say, go and capture the codes. So once iLogic, uh, the logic has been defined, you can create forms inside Inventor to provide a more intuitive front end for the configurator. Simply select which parameters, rules, and properties you want available for configuration, and they are automatically added to your form. No programming is required at all. These can be grouped together on the form or separated into different tabs for better organization. You can even add text and fixtures to provide instructions or describe parameters. With the product configured, unique customer requirements may require additional fine tuning. So in Inventor uh, and Astran is also easily uh, integrated inside the CAD environment. So these models can be uh, used to either uh, in for drawing creation or for doing analysis. Uh, within Inventor as the Nastran environment is already included. iLogic can also automate the entire process of setting up, running, and post-processing the simulation, which reduces the time to take it to get actionable results. So automated design and configuration process helps you get from design to manufacturing faster. In other words, with rules-based design, you can deliver custom products faster and improve your bottom line. So that was a quick glance of uh, what uh, iLogic uh, capability inside of Inventor can help you with the second level of automation, which most of our customers have been uh, using uh, worldwide. Okay, so now, 
let's talk about uh, the next level, which is sales enablement. So if you are a designer watching this presentation, have you ever been taken away from your work and to make changes to an existing design for a bid or customer? I'm sure you must have gone through that and you must be going through it. You can greatly reduce that by creating a form so that anyone can make design changes even if they don't know how to use Inventor. If you are a designer, have you ever been asked to make a change to a design for a new bid or customer request? I'm sure the answer is yes. For some of you, this is on occurrence. Uh, this is one occurrence that happens very often. Did you know that you can empower others to do this work for you, even if they don't know how to use Inventor? You can simply create forms like the one that you saw in the earlier video, uh, which allows you to create forms and provide only the functional parameters that are required to be changed okay? uh, so that anybody can uh, get their work, uh, can do this on their own without having any inventor knowledge. You may even use to prefer. Uh, you may even prefer to use the form yourself for design automation. So either way, whether it's for you as a designer or it's for sales, for sales enablement. Okay, so iLogic is a great tool. Now you can see the image at the bottom that the uh, it's a browser-based interface where which is made accessible to the sales representatives in your organization, so they can uh, quickly configure the product. Uh, and um, send out a quote uh, and also generate the drawings and include in their bid proposal. So that is the kind of automation that, that we, are, we are talking about. So as a, if you're a salesperson by any chance in this uh, webinar, so you can be confident that configurations that are generated from the form will produce a design that you know can be manufactured. Let's see a few examples. This is one of our customers, maybe Bridge. It's a British engineering company that manufactures bridges. They supply bridges all around the world. They make both temporary and permanent structures, both military and civilian. They've been a long time customer of Autodesk and in the beginning, they primarily used AutoCAD, but they were looking for ways to innovate, how they can change things and how to improve. They wanted to engage with customers more. And the forms they created in Inventor, like the one that you see on the screen, were a great solution for the volume of quotations they received. It helped them to process them and provide a better service for them. The turnaround time for the quotes became five times faster, and that has enabled them to think about what is next for the technology and business. So an AutoCAD user, maybe Bridge, moved to Inventor and then moved on to automation tools like iLogic within Inventor and started creating automated uh, uh, bridge design uh, uh, for both military and civilian applications. So next, this customer, Pent Hood, is a manufacturer of premium residential kitchen, ventilation and range foods, which we see in our kitchens. They use Inventor to efficiently efficiently translate customers' vision into workable designs. Their vision was to make anything the customer wanted within some of the physical constraints of the blower system. But they had a challenge of providing a way for customers to specify their desires without exceeding limits to manufacturing and overall function of the product. Also with a fully customizable design, the drawing had to be accurate. They were able to create a form that they could be that could be entered by anyone, including customers, for new configurations. So it's essentially a configurator that they deployed on the site. So an inventor iLogic form can be pushed uh, to uh, into a browser environment. So that's another option that we have inside of Inventor okay, um, through a tool called Configurator 360, and that code, particular code, can be embedded on the customer's site, uh, on the vendor, uh, on Ventahood's site. Where so, when a customer wants to buy, or is designing a house or an apartment for himself, uh, he can use Ventahood systems by going to the configurator 
and uh, getting the, the required designs uh, without having to go to the manufacturer. Okay. So the, what Ventahood were able to create, a, uh, was able to achieve is create a form that could be entered by anyone, including customers for new configurations always staying within parameters established by the engineering models and inventor. The result is a 3D visual rendering that includes all physical specification and pricing details. Nearly an uh, entire Ventahood portfolio is available to customize. So that's, so what we saw so far was uh, um, how iLogic as an automation tool is helping our customers to reduce the amount of time that they require uh, to A, automate their designs, uh, be it for drawing creation or analysis, or product create for product configurators just by specifying the functional parameters. And then even, and finally deploy it onto their site so it is made available to the customers who, are, who can just go online and configure the parameters and download a model that they can use. So not only a customer and even, or even if a building um, uh, a project requires one of these uh, uh, equipments or products to be shown in their building design, they can do that as well. So these, they can simply go to the vendor site, configure the model, download it as a 3D uh, object and use it inside their building design so that they can completely show uh, what, how the whole uh, interior looks like. Okay, now next, let's talk about the extended capabilities. So beyond iLogic, so we do have the Inventor API. API stands for Application Programming Interface and Visual Basic .NET, the possibilities to automate become endless. Okay. So, go, so go beyond configuring new designs to automating engineering processes. The API is very powerful and it is, it, it provides the ability to automate almost anything you see in the user interface of Inventor. And the best part is these APIs are provided to you free of cost and Autodesk does not charge for it. So why is the Inventor API so powerful? It takes you beyond the basics. Automate repetitive tasks, set up design rules, check drawings. Okay, of course, these could be done with iLogic as well, but what more you can do with this is enter into ERP and MRP integrations. And even more, go ahead and create your own add-in for Inventor. So let's take an example of a customer who's successfully using Inventor APIs to take automation to the next level. FS Elliot uses the power of iLogic technology to automate the 3D modeling process of several of the most complex products. The impeller that you see in the upper right uh, corner used to take 16 hours to create earlier. Now with iLogic form, it takes about 30 minutes it's not just about time savings. There are hundreds of points that go into creating each blade. Every time a new impeller is created, they know the model is free from human error, which is very, very important. Now, FS Elliot can be confident that the model is ready to be programmed for the CNC machining. You can see the code from FS Elliot. Okay, so, are these, uh, so what this uh, gives you uh, an idea is, not only simple uh, design, but even complex design like that of this impeller can be achieved by using iLogic and other API functions uh, with, comes along with Inventor. For a long time, Autodesk Inventor has had powerful automation tools that we have been discussing. Now we, we are taking all that cap capability that we placed on the desktop and making it available on the Forge platform. So what is a Forge platform? The so Forge platform is the ultimate uh, development platform of Autodesk and it is a cloud-based uh, um, solution, okay? So, 
And now we are on uh, to design automation APIs on Forge for Inventor, where we can create a complete custom experience for your customers and automate your entire product development process from sales, purchasing raw material, design work, manufacturing, all the way to getting your product out the door. It makes your entire process more efficient. Automating workflows and processes increases productivity, reduces errors, and saves cost. Now you can automate your inventor processes in the cloud to achieve collaboration and automation at scale. So today's product design and manufacturing environment is hindered by disconnected experiences, technology, and data, especially when collaborating across departments and firms. With the push to drive innovation and shorten time to market, many customers want to move away from the disconnected waterfall operating models of today to a future that supports, supports more concurrent, integrated, and automated workflows. One supported led uh, by a robust cloud data platform, which is Forge. As Inventor moves towards this connected future, you can find out how Forge data enables everyone along the design and manufacturing pipeline to collaborate on the data they need from anywhere at the same time. You can explore how you might easily plug in your apps and services to a platform that connects information and people across design and manufacturing workforce. So the design automation API provides the ability to use core APIs of your favorite CAD engines in the cloud, leveraging the scale of the Forge platform to run automated jobs. These jobs could be highly repetitive or frequent, or could be large, larger problems that need uh, large scale processing power. With the design automation API, you can offload the process to the Forge platform, which can process these jobs at a much greater scale and efficiency. And this kind of automation is, is a corporate initiative, uh, which we call it. Okay, so, based, so a corporate initiative of your company requires a level of automation, which we can support through the Forge platform. So uh, Forge or Design Automation API for Inventor provides a means to automate time-consuming and repetitive tasks. They remove the manual and error-prone effort, which saves time and enables a faster response to the higher level of consistency. So Forge powers insights and workflows through Forge-powered web pages and mobile apps, visualize for better decision-making, organize for fast and efficient decision-making, connect people and systems, connect data, fit across, data across systems without installing software. When I say without installing software, it's all done on the cloud. So any browser, any popular browser that you may be using will support Forge. Automate and finally automate tasks, speed up responsiveness to customers, internal and external, like creation of drawings required, but takes a lot of hours. So these are the areas that we are focused on. That is configure, export, and generate. Then we can place some of the workflows in those buckets. On the configure side, we are talking about some of the things you are automating in engineering and in sales. If you know iLogic, what are some of the things you are doing on a daily basis? Then there are all. Then there is also an idea of exporting. Take advantage of core code and capabilities that Inventor uses. Take advantage of all the time. That is being able to use inventor translators to save as a variety of neutral file formats or native file formats like Cadia, Creo, etc. The ability to export drawings, and then there is metadata like information for a bill of material, and export it into different systems like MRP or ERP. So this is something normally a CAD software is not able to achieve uh, today, but with the help of Forge automation, uh, automation with Forge technology. Uh, Autodesk Inventor will, you can uh, allows you to uh, take automation to the highest level possible. And finally, when, when we have these things where uh, bulk operation, which do bulk operations where people are using a job processor or task manager, 
This can cause issues when you have multiple engineers or teams who are trying to access that license uh, that is generating bulk operations. By using Forge, there is less wait time since there is no limit on the amount of jobs that you can uh, that you can run at the same time. So, so the basic concept is data from any device can be fed in these engines on Forge, not just only from inventor, but also from uh, popular tools uh, for Autodesk such as uh, uh, AutoCAD, uh, 3D Studio Max, and Revit as well. Here is an example of a cust one of our customers who use Forge platform very efficiently, Advanced Drainage Systems. It's one of our first customers to use Design Automation API on Forge. So they make these drainage fields that typically go under something like a parking lot. They were able to take what they did in their desktop and inventor and put it onto the put it into the cloud so that anyone could get access to this at any time, anywhere, on any device. So let's take a look at what they did in the following uh, video. First, they started an inventor. They have a fully configurable design. They have a base template of pipes, tubes, and catch basins. And you can see they have a full set of rules set up on your left through iLogic. You can see that they have code established. They took these rules and bought it into design automation API uh, in the cloud. And in the cloud, customers are able to see this design in the cloud where they're able to take the underlay of the site. So this is the code. So which is already done inside a, a logic. So the customers were able to see this is the cloud-based uh, app which they have. So the customers were able to see this design in the cloud where they're able to take the underlay of the site grab the scale, plug in the value for the area to measure, then they can line up the drainage field with the site plan. Then put in some parameters, line it up. Once that is done, they save the configuration. One of the main outputs they want from this are drawings. Then their customers who are in the field can take those drawings and open them in AutoCAD on their desktop, laptop, or even in AutoCAD mobile, mobile on any device. So that is advanced drainage systems for you. So a fully corporate level uh, initiative of uh, completely automating the, uh, the business process through design is fully achieved by the uh, Forge platform. Okay, and finally the request for drawing is being sent. So to recap, to recap a slide you saw earlier, the things you do to automate your process comes in all different sizes. And remember that the work you do today can be repurposed for larger scale automation projects later. I said that initially as well, and I'm saying that now. So you, you never lose the effort to put into the things you do now. Okay. So, that is why why automation is taking uh, is is taking precedence and it is given more importance uh, to uh, all the companies that are uh, into the design uh, in the design department. And Autodesk Inventor has covered you uh, has you covered in your automation strategy, especially in the current uh, uh, times where we are going through, where we are working from home, etc. It's more important that we we introduce a lot more automation to do a lot of multitasking, okay? especially if you are from the design and engineering department. You, and if you if you are not doing automation uh, already, you might want to consider uh, start doing these things. And uh, uh, orders can help you <clears throat> achieve uh, those initiatives that you can take. So with that. I come to the end of my presentation and hope you found this useful. Uh, so this is an eye level overview of the automation solutions uh, 
for optimizing your design efficiency. And uh, with that, I'll open it up for questions. And as Avinash said, there will be a poll that will be uh, shown to you. Uh, so please uh, give your responses as much as possible. And um, so I can see a lot of questions here. Okay, so the first question. So, Avinash, uh, if you, do you want to run the poll now? Yes, I've been running the uh, yeah. I'm getting some responses. Also. Yeah. So, while he's running the poll, let me see what are the questions. So the first question by uh, let me. What is the difference between Inventor and Fusion 360 in terms of analysis? So Inventor is you know the difference between Inventor and Fusion 360. Inventor is a on-premise desktop solution whereas fusion 360 is a cloud based solution okay so both have uh, analysis capabilities so in, and uh, the analysis code is nastran so the difference is um, if you need to use inventor you need to have uh, inventor installed on your desktop uh, whereas uh, fusion is completely cloud based okay and uh, the analysis, uh, the so solving uh, it will be done on the cloud service, so which gives you an added advantage of uh, sparing up your uh, computer resources for doing something, uh, some other activities. But essentially, the capabilities are same uh, whether you use Inventor or Fusion uh, for analysis. Can we use this automation in Fusion 360? Not, not to uh, uh, like uh, something like an I logic is not available inside Fusion 360. You would need to be using uh, Inventor. So the Fusion this automations in Fusion 360 is more towards uh, uh, the ones that we saw like uh, sheet metal nesting and uh, automation of drawing creation. Uh, then a uh, sheet metal bent uh, drawing, uh, uh, flat pattern creations, and so on and so forth. Okay? Uh, but something like an iLogic, which is uh, a, called a rules based engineering, is currently not possible inside Fusion 360. Uh, so there's another question which says, does the variable defined in form should have any parametric variables in the model? Um, I'm not sure what exactly you mean by that. Uh, if you can elaborate what was, what is the question, then I can try and answer it. So what language will be used to create API? So, uh, uh, so Visual Basic, .NET, these are the languages, okay. Can Forge platform be embedded on Fusion 360? So it's not a question about embedding, okay? So uh, the Forge APIs, you use the Forge APIs and then create applications on top of either Inventor or Fusion 360. So that's how you do it. So this another question which says, uh, any material to learn the complete API creation and iLogic? Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of materials available online. Um, we can share that with you uh, separately. So 
so are there any other questions and one particular question which is which was not clear to me was does the variable defined in forms should have any parametric variables in the model what exactly is the question if you can explain uh, i will try and answer it or if you are asking whether the variables in the forms should match with the parametric variables in the models the answer is yes yes we can share the learning links uh, we will share that with you separately so yeah so i i'm glad you that was the question uh, i hope i have answered that correctly are there any more questions so to just to uh, quickly uh, summarize um there are several so inventor has grown from a, <clears throat> from a simple parametric modeling software to a complete automation software which can take care of your uh, as i said in the beginning your personal automation tasks uh two corporate goals and initiatives like the one we saw with the advanced drainage systems okay so wherein a corporate initiative is connecting the design automation to the sales processes and integrating with mrp and erp okay so uh, so that is uh, so that is the uh, the uh, advancement of uh, autodesk inventor today <clears throat> and apart from this uh, what we have done uh, uh, in the past few releases is we've added much more capabilities which runs inside of inventor uh, such as uh, analysis which is the, which is nastran <clears throat> and the complete uh, two and a half access to five access uh, cam which runs inside of inventor okay. and then uh, you have tools like uh, nesting for sheet metal nesting and uh, tolerance analysis if you are looking to ma make sure that your assemblies the components fit together uh, when the assem uh, when, when when it is assembled okay all of this is now available inside inventor and this uh, is again um, available in a single uh, uh, package called the product design and manufacturing collection okay so this is the uh, product which has the inventor with all these add-ins okay in in addition to the automation tools that we talked about so is there a student version available for inventor yes there is a student version available if you are a student then there is you can go to our uh, education site you can look up that in our site and student versions require you to <clears throat> uh, log in with your uh, college id okay uh, so yes the answer is yes so there are student version available for inventor as well are there any more questions so if not uh what i want to uh, leave you is with uh, some set of links which you can note okay if you want to learn more if you want to uh, find more about uh, automation for you or your company so there are some links over here <clears throat> if you want to know more about forge go to force.autodesk.com and if you are interested in uh, learning ilogic so there is an autodesk university paper which was presented on ilogic these are the links um, and uh, somebody was asking about uh, design automation api tutorial so that's again available in this location okay so you uh, you if, uh, whoever is interested can make a note of uh, these links So Avinash, anyway, we'll be sharing these uh, um, 
recording as well right with the participants yes that's right we will be sharing so okay so if you forget to do uh, note down these links now you can uh, note it down when the uh, sharing when the video uh, recording of this session comes to you uh, you still get to access uh, it but i'm sure a few people have asked about uh, learning materials for apis and ilogix so it's all here so with that i would like to conclude today's session and avinash do you have any closing uh, remarks that's all it vida thank you from my side well thank, thank you everyone uh, for joining us today and uh, and have a great day and stay safe be careful as always and uh, good luck thank you